MAC pricing is a simple concept, but it can be a little bit difficult to understand because part of it goes completely against common sense. MAC pricing is when a drug is placed on the MAC list, which stands for Maximum Allowable Cost, which is the maximum price that a third-party payer, uh, known as a pharmacy benefit manager, will reimburse the pharmacy for that particular medication. Under normal circumstances, when a pharmacy benefit manager reimburses a pharmacy for one of the prescriptions it's dispensed, it does so according to a series of set formulas. With those formulas, if the price of the drug increases, the reimbursement rate increases. If the price of the drug goes down, the reimbursement rate goes down, which makes sense. Now comes a little tricky part. Um, over the years, if you've watched the news at all, you've seen that some of the drugs have had skyrocketing drug prices. One of the problems we have right now with the current MAC reimbursements is the MAC prices have not been adjusted when the drug prices actually go up. Sometimes there is a lag time um, up to two weeks, three weeks, uh, even months before that price is actually adjusted. Over a long period of time, when we are asked to dispense medications at below our cost, obviously that decreases the pharmacy's profits, it decreases our ability to give our employees raises, it decreases our ability to hire more staff, and potentially makes us look at having to let some employees go because the profits aren't there. This obviously decreases the income in the community and in our state. The big downsides to MAC pricing and the fact that those prices are not updated in quite a timely fashion is that pharmacies have to look at deleting certain medications from their inventory because the cost of the medication is far exceeding the reimbursement rate that the pharmacy benefit managers or the third party payers are actually reimbursing the pharmacy. Unfortunately, at that point, the medications become unavailable for our patients. There are a lot of pharmacies out there in rural areas that the pharmacist is their first line of patient health care. And we need to keep those pharmacies viable so that these patients still have the ability to seek medical treatment and help when necessary. One of the easiest ways that I think that the MAC pricing issue could be resolved is if there was a weekly update for the MAC price list. In this day and age of technology, it should be almost instantaneous, so a weekly update I don't think would be too much to ask. If the MAC legislation pricing is passed, then that will actually allow the pharmacies to be reimbursed at a rate that will cover the cost of the medications. It will also allow the pharmacy to take care of their staff, to give their staff raises, to hire more staff. It will put more available income in the community and in the state. And most importantly, it will actually help our patients because the pharmacy can then afford to stop all the medications that are necessary.